Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again <coughs> for another punt at a beer review. This one was bought for me by my team at work in work for Christmas. Um, and it is an innocent gun and it's the uh, Kindred Spirit. I am 6.1% ABV, it says so right there. And the best before on this one, if I get the bottle out, is November this year. Uh, it says so round about there. It is a Irish whiskey barrel aged stout. So, bit of guff on this one. Let's read the old back. 15 years ago, we first discovered the craft of barrel aging and the amazing effects it has on beer. Um, it's the pinnacle of the brewer's art. Each barrel is its own story to tell and a unique character to impart on our beer. <coughs> Excuse me. For us, barrel aging means endless possibilities and the promise of some truly incredible taste experiences. Our smooth Scottish stout uh, meets carefully selected Irish whiskey barrels in our unique aging process to create a flavour packed beer with notes of dark chocolate coffee along with hints of vanilla and oak. Find out how we put the barrels on the website. Says that there, if you want to have a little read of it, pause the video and have a little go. Back of the bottle uh, is pretty much what it says at the back of the uh, old uh, there. So, if I look at the website, and this is not on the Innocent Gun, we Gun or website. Um, Mr. Cap, by the way. Uh, so, I don't know how long it's been in a bottle, I don't know how long it's been in the box. Uh, well, the best before is the bottom end as well. Um, so, we know when the best before it is. We know the ABV, all that usual stuff. The one thing left to do is open the bottle. Let's see what we've got. Let's pop it up. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that was good. A little pop and a little bit of smoke as well. Very nice. 6.1, it's a lot less than uh, what I'm used to drinking with my stouts ABV wise. The stouts I've been drinking lately have usually been twice that in ABV. Maybe a little bit more. Here we go. Yeah, the combination. Let's see what we've got there? We've got ourselves a jet black beer. Nothing front at the bottom. Obviously, no light going through it. Rugged. Swiss cheese head. Nothing on that backside, but certainly on the front. Swiss cheese head, finger and a half, tanned. Very rocky and pillowy across the top there. Looks really, really nice. So, let's see what we can smell. The whiskey comes through. Chocolate and coffee, as it says. There is that vanilla there as well, which is what you expect with some of the innocent good stuff. The ones I've had have always been vanilla-y, or certainly vanilla-based. That smells really, really nice. The whiskey's not the whiskey's there, but it's not it's not sort of in your face. But you you get you get that alcohol. It smells lovely. Let's dive in. Get a nose. Cheers. Get, get a nose. Let's get a taste. Light carbonation. I thought this carbonation may have been a bit heavier since we had the big crackle at the start. Body is, is light as well. I thought they might, again, I thought it was going to be a little bit thick and a little bit heavy and a little bit velvety. <coughs> but it's not. Go for a big mouthful for the taste now. You're getting coffee, dark roasted malt, a little bit of chocolate and then vanilla, and then the whiskey comes through right on the back end. <coughs> what it's like, uh, it's like a chilli burn, it's a prickle, not so much a, 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 a burn. It's really nice. It's not too straight, it's gone. So it, it just hangs around, it lingers. Sorry, it doesn't hang around, it doesn't linger. It, uh, it kind of sort of just subsides slowly. <clears throat> Excuse me. It 
it's super smooth really super super smooth that's possibly one of the nicest innocent guns I've had in a, in a, in a while it might be a conservation now although the flavours are there I think they could do it being just jacked up a little bit but this might be just my palate to change changing because I'm having all this high strength ABV stuff <coughs> in my stouts. I would like the whiskey to be a bit more prominent. I would like it to be built on a, a whiskey base and then you get the roasted malt, the coffee, the chocolate, the vanilla and then that sways and the, the whiskey's still there to a nice level pitch all the way through. This you get all the malt, chocolate, coffee, vanilla and then you get this little, I say, this little whiskey prickle. And then it, it, then it subsides. There's no sort of dryness. There's no... Um, doesn't last. There's no lingering of, linger of flavour. I'm not saying it's washed out, because it isn't. It's, by, by, it's not washed out. It just doesn't do. Now it's kind of, uh, now got, it's building here. I can feel it building there. Got a bad bit of lacing. It's a decent, decent beer, decent battle aged stout. I just wish the whiskey would come through a little bit more. But, do I like it? I like it. It's nice. It is really nice. <coughs> Maybe I didn't show the, I should have threw it down my throat, which was just threw it as a sipper. But for me, 6.1% stout is not a sipper. Um, it's not a gulper, but it's not a sipper. I think you got all the flavours that it said you did. Uh, would I buy it again if I saw it would I buy it again I would actually I would buy it um, I've got a feeling I've got a feeling this was bought in sort of a in an Asda excuse me and it was there on one of the bottom, the bottom of the shelves um, and yeah I would recommend it to friends I think it's 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 nice it is really nice I would, for me I'd like the flavours to be a bit more punchy but saying that it's it's a good innocent gun, and they usually are innocent guns. They, they they usually are. They're all a lot of them are vanilla based, as I say, but they are really really nice. <coughs> so there you go. Review over and done with. Do I like it? Yes. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes. Would I buy it again if I saw it out about? Yeah, I would. Um. So if you're watching for the first time, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, and please put a comment below if you want. If you've had the beer, let me know what you think as well. Uh, I say I can't find it on any website, it's certainly not on Rape Beer. Um, so this could possibly be the very first review of this in the world. Um, but we'll soon find out. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, the out.